everybody feeling fine. There ain't no business like show business, baby. Show time. It is show time. What makes it so special to be here? What What do you like about visual effects? I just think, you know, it's one of the things that sort of has so become part of our TV and film watching that we almost take it for granted now. And I think it's lovely that they get, you know, celebrated and, and appreciated as they should be. Do you have any sort of favorite movies or favorite scenes that you might have... Oh gosh, you've really put me on the spot, haven't you? Well, I don't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. Well, I enjoyed a lot of the effects in Tron, which I was in briefly. Um, I thought that looked amazing, very sort of sleek and sexy, and a really nice way of retelling the old story. What are sh some of your feelings about the advancements in visual effects? Do you feel that there's some great advancements? Or? I think there are tremendous mind-boggling advancements in visual effect. My philosophy is that everything in a movie is a visual effect, because I write, I direct, I produce, I do set design, I do visual effects, I do it all. I don't really hang my shingle out as a visual effects guy. Um, but what's been happening now, what's, what is happening now with all of these amazing movies just this year, you can see that visual effects are driving this whole industry. That the bulk of product, the bulk of profits, the bulk of revenue is being dri driven by visual effects movies. And so this, this industry here is the star of the movie industry. It's not the stars anymore. Visual effects are the star. That's a complete sea change in the way uh, movie entertainment is being produced. Sure. And for young students that are just entering the world and thinking about getting into visual effects, right. do you feel there's a benefit for them to not only learn the various computer programs that are so integral, but maybe learn some of the more practical visual effects that were applied? I think it's really important to learn fine art, learn fine painting, sculpture, lighting. Um, it's not all about computers. Computers are a tool to enable a vision, and the vision has to come from a bigger picture of experience with, with a, a broad range of arts, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's painting or design or uh, photography or whatever. Uh, a good visual effects artist has to know all those things and bring that into the computer and make something that will, people will believe is absolutely real, which is a very big challenge, and these people do it. When you took on this job, speaking with Martin Scorsese, and knowing that the film was sort of an homage to the, the history of filmmaking, did you speak with did he speak with you about trying to incorporate a lot of classical types of visual effects? Yes, in a matter of speaking, what we did is we went and, and saw literally the very first movies ever made, literally went through a camera, the Lumiere brothers in Paris, we went to Paris and we had a screening of the newly restored material and the inspiration of, oh, A, you can't do better, so let's do something like that, let's be sort of moved by that and let's find ways in our script, in our story that we could incorporate what the masters have done in the past. And so anytime we had a setup, the question was, what can we do to make it you know, uh, suggest or harken back to that different time? And the more subtle it is, the more we liked it, because the more it was like, it was kind of like layering something to them with a certain degree of complexity that people may not ever get, but we get it, and we appreciate it. And so it was, it was a very magical sort of moving experience to do it. I know this, for Martin Scorsese, it was his first 3D movie, and I'm sure he was very, very uh, meticulous about all of the details. He was very meticulous, and he really wanted to go for it. He didn't want to make a movie that's also in 3D. He wanted to make a 3D movie. So every every shot, uh, uh, every shot, everything was designed to enhance the drama with the depth that you get from 3D. So nothing was left to chance. Nothing was, oh, we'll just throw the 3D on and don't worry about it. We studied it on the set. We viewed every shot, and, he, and every shot had a question. What, could, what would make it better? What would tell the story better using 3D? And that's what we did. Do you have a particular scene or effect that you really felt uh, attached to with this movie or, or just love doing? Well, the one I love doing the most, I mean, we have very complicated stuff, things that take literally a year to compute and produce and then get 
very a lot of acclaim that we've been very fortunate to get based on these shots. But the one that I sort of nearest and dearest to my heart is a request from Ben Kingsley, who said, I want at the gala at the very end of the movie, I want to do something George Milliers like with the screen, I can introduce the clips. I want to do something, I don't know what to do. And then Marty said, find something for him to do. If we can come up with something and we'll take a look at it. So I went back to the George Moulier's library of material, found a, a shot, and a shot where he goes out of frame for like a bit of a frame, goes back a blackboard and starts drawing. And I said, what would be great is uh, uh, Ben Kingsley puts his top hat on, a cigarette, he bends down, when he comes back up, he's back in time as the young George. It's an camera trick. It's basically what George would have done, because he does those sort of jump cut sort of things, but we made it as smooth as we could. We did it in 3D. It's a little more complicated when I'm describing it, but the net result is it's a jump cut. He does that, and it was so in character of George Moulier's and so in character of Ben Kingsley being George Moulier's and so in character of our movie that it was a very satisfying you know, gag, if you would. And it's very subtle. The audience may pick up on it, they may not. The film scholars who see it love it. So we're sort of just, I'm very pleased about it. Because I got to be George for a second. We're gonna